Hello friends, let's talk about how to add a cookie consent banner to your show website so that way you are legally legit. Uh, if you have anything on your website like a contact form or you're running Google Analytics or you have an email list and you are capturing emails, uh, you essentially need to show your users how you are handling their uh, information. Um, and this is a GDPR kind of concept of adding one of those cookie consent bars and um, you can do it easily with show it in an app called website policies. This is what it looks like. Uh, let me toggle to it. Uh, this is what it looks like here. You can see this cookie consent bar is uh, Oh, why is my screen going crazy? This cookie consent bar is on, I've got my screen on an incognito mode, that's why this is going nuts. Um, but it automatically will pop up right here. You could do, uh, there's a few different styles that you can do. I do this left hand box style because I've got a Chatra widget, widget over here. And if I did the bar that people typically do, the button is behind my chat button, so I didn't want that. Um, so let's show you how to do this. It's super easy. You're gonna come to websitepolicies.com forward slash create forward slash cookie dash consent dash banner. I'll pop that link in the blog post for you. And this is basically what you're gonna see when you visit this app creator. And first you're gonna see configuration wizard. Uh, these are all the options down here that you can do. You can do layout colors, text, all the things that you're gonna look on or work on. Uh, let me move my little bubble so you can see my box as it's appearing. If I chose bar, it would automatically, you can see at the bottom, have changed to this style with a button on the right. Um, I do the tool tip. You can also change the positioning of all of these options. So if you did the bar, you could do the top if you wanted or a push down style. If you do the tool tip, you could choose bottom right, top, top right. There's all different options. I do the bottom left. Again, I have that chat with widget on my website and I'm also not super keen on putting in the top just because that's where my navigation goes. So I don't want you know, this to impede on my navigation. So uh, that's the positioning. You can look at the layout. Um, these options, you can kind of just click through and see what happens when you use them. Um, they're essentially just gonna like work on the spacing within the cookie consent bar itself. You can pick transparency, you could do no transparency, you could do uh, up to 25%, it looks like. Um, you can change font size if you wanted your font size to be smaller uh, or normal, whatever you want. Um, I just have the default colors. This is where you can come in. You can choose their automatic predefined color palettes or you can use your custom brand colors. So I just created mine with a white background. It's at 5% capacity or opacity. The background color button um, is one of my brand colors. That's the pink. And then I just did, uh, you can do the text and your colors as well to choose that. Your cookie policy itself, you're gonna wanna put where your policy lives. Uh, you're essentially, you need to have a terms and conditions and a privacy policy. Uh, you can have a cookie policy built out on a separate page if you want, but it can just be your privacy policy page. Um, if you don't have a website terms and conditions and privacy policy, I'll link a contract template from my good friend Paige Griffith with the legal page. Definitely check out her store. You need to have this to protect your website. So get that if you don't have it, but that is where you're gonna link. So essentially, if you come to my website and you're like, hey, what are you talking about? This privacy policy, it's gonna open up my terms and conditions and my privacy policy. I know Paige preaches that you should probably put these on different pages and I probably will in the future um, just to follow her advice. But for now, I've had it on one page, so that's where mine is going. Um, but you can separate yours out into terms and conditions on one page and privacy policy. That's um, that's really what Paige suggests. That's like a future optimization thing for me. Um, okay, so custom text. This is where you just put what you want it to say. Uh, it does have some default 
line that they originally had here, I added this and a cookie emoji because that makes it more fun in my opinion. <laughs> Policy link, you'll see this is just the default text. It's sort of gray here. If you wanted to change it, you just click in these boxes. Um, you can use the default dismiss button text or put your own in. I kind of put this in. It says, okay, got it. And then right here, you're gonna click copy the code. After you do all of these one through five steps of editing, come to copy the code and you're going to, you can click to preview it, but the preview is here. Um, so I don't necessarily, you don't have to do that, um, but you're just gonna hit copy code. And once you click that code, it copies it to your clipboard. And what you wanna do is toggle over to your show it dashboard. So this is my show it editor right here. I'm gonna kind of just move this right here um, what you're gonna do is essentially you have to put this on every page of your website and your blog I have lots and lots of pages so I'm just gonna show you how to do this when you open your show at dashboard you should come to what is your home page um, you may land on a different page depending on if you're already in your dashboard and you're editing something but I'm on my home page and if you're if you're not seeing this on the right hand side where it says page info is the first um, drop down option you can kind of come over to the left hand side if you're say if you're on a page you can come over to where site is and toggle there and just click on one of the pages and then you'll automatically start seeing this page information editor on the right hand side of your dashboard so I'm clicking to home now I know that I'm editing my actual page uh, you'll probably see something like this page open be page info be opened first. So what you're gonna do is come down here um, under SEO settings and then you'll see advanced settings is right underneath SEO settings. That's what we wanna click on. So click on advanced settings and then you'll see the first box is custom head HTML. Every single page on the left hand side of your show at dashboard where your pages live has this custom head HTML and that is where you're gonna add this code. So I have lots of different things. This is like where your icon or your pixel code, or if you have a chat widget, all that stuff goes into your head. Um, and this is that code that I just copied from the website policies website. Uh, so you just take that code that you just copied, you paste it in and you hit save. And you're gonna essentially copy this process for every page that you have. So if you have a, you, you know, same thing for blog, everyone, have, every single page has this custom head HTML box and you just come in here and you paste in your code that you pulled from the website policies creator and then you hit save and then you're going to hit publish when you're done and after you publish you can visit your website and you should see this pop up on the pages that you added it again it's only going to appear on the pages that you put it into that custom head HTML box so just make sure that you check your pages and it works. It's smart enough to know that if you click OK, got it, and you go to say another page of your website, it's not going to pull that up again when somebody clicks the OK, got it. This is, you know, this page on my website also has that GDPR cookie consent bar popped in, but since I just hit OK, got it, it automatically knows not to pull that up again. So that's good for you to know, like if somebody were visiting your blog and then they hit OK, got it, and they visit another page, it's not going to auto pull that back up. It's smart enough to continue to hide itself. So that is how you add a cookie consent bar to your website. Make sure that you, um, I'll, I'll link this website policies app in this blog post and then also if you do not have a terms and conditions and privacy policy for your website pop over with the link in this blog post as well to get that from the legal page all right see you next time thanks so much